Who says learning has to be done strictly out of a book? Matt Shirtliff, our GTU mad scientist, is joining us today to teach us the science of bubbles. We've all been so excited to have you back on the show. Well, I'm glad to be here. We had a lot of fun last time with those dry ice bubbles. They were such a hit. And today, we're talking monster bubbles. What's a monster bubble? <laughs> so it's just a giant version of a bubble, just you know, three, four feet in diameter. They just look like something from a different world, and so just lots of fun. Matt, what is it about bubbles? Is it because we get to be a child again? Everybody likes a good bubble, yeah, I right? Think, I think everybody just loves, you know, seeing them. They're they're just fascinating to, to play with and experiment with. So just lots of fun for everybody. Matt, let's talk about the Evil Scientist Academy. That's where you are from. This is what you do. You're out there teaching kids science experiments daily. Yeah, yeah, we run after school uh, science programs in Davis, Salt Lake, and Utah counties at different rec centers, and so. You are all over the place. So what ages of kids do you teach? So it's elementary age students. Okay. So just any elementary age student, and those are the, those are the ones. And so what is it, the takeaway, when you see these kids so interested, what are they learning? What are, what are they taking in? Well, they, they just um, learn to love science. They just love to do experiments, and, and we just love to encourage that, so. I don't feel like that ever goes away. I mean, we're excited right now. Will you start the process teaching us how to do yes. our own monster bubble? Yeah, let's do it. So we've just got some special mix and a giant bubble wand. And so the trick is you just kind of Step, push, Whoa. and close. Oh my gosh, I want our kids to be here right really now. Little... Yes, we have to take them. Okay, Giant should we bubbles. all have a turn? Yeah. You know that we all, we're lining up for and it right now. And can people at home do this? Is this easy they to They can, they can. Um, you, you need some special bubble mix, but they sell those on, you know, online and stuff so like that. So it's not the dollar store <gasps> bubbles, oh, yeah, right? What makes this mix special? Yeah. It makes it's them big. It's got some polymer in there, polymer. and so it has like a special little additive, but you can buy those online. So, is this only good for big bubbles or should we get this for regular bubbles too because um, they probably the big what bubbles. Was, I didn't really best. see so it. Kind of it at the end. I went too fast. And then close Ooh. there you go. Oh but I didn't do it high enough. That is so cool okay. how it forms kind oh, of wait, backwards. Can you do two? Wait. I, you usually can but oh, sometimes. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. It lost its momentum. It's okay, I'm excited. <laughs> Get back in line. We're going again. Right? <laughs> this is interesting. It's kind of back, goes backwards. You know, normally you're blowing uh, it and it goes out in front of you, but this kind of goes behind you. All right. <gasps> Whoa! That was good, Sabby. That was long. I know. <laughs> Matt, what is your very favorite experiment that you show off and you teach? Um, I don't know. What a, I mean, dry ice is extremely popular. Mm -hmm. Probably our fire tornadoes are the most popular. So. Oh, my goodness. Nicely Look. done. Fire tornadoes. Can you do that next time you're here? <laughs> sure. Who wants another turn? Oh, I do. One more. It's addicting. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Definitely. Oh, my gosh. These are like as big as the kids that you're teaching, <laughs> right? Yep. Yep. These bubbles are massive. Okay, you, Matt, you them. say that class is one hour. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a theme each class, or are they doing several? <laughs> we, do, yeah, yeah, we, do, we do everything from physics to <laughs> chemistry <really> <laughs> to uh, magnets and electricity. Gosh, so I love it. Yep. Learning does not get more fun than that. What are the sizes of your classes? Okay, um, we keep them about, we keep them under 24, and so it just kind of depends. Sometimes they'll be a little smaller, and sometimes they'll, they'll reach up to that many. Those are hypnotizing. I so right, I think you're really good. Will you do one more? <laughs> Hold on, do I another. I do one more, maybe two. Um, Would your kids love these? Yes. I, I think so, and, yeah. and actually yes. doing it too, not just chasing bubbles, right? I mean, I can't believe how big they are. Oh my God. And then Matt, what, um, like the delight of seeing the kids, does that bring you so much joy? Yeah, I love it. I love to see them experiment and, and become future scientists, so wow. they get so excited and they love to do the experiments and do the hands-on stuff. Well, so what a cool after-school activity, and they're still learning. They won't even know because they're having so much fun. There's some new classes for winter starting at the end of the month, so everything we need to know, Matt, right there on our screen, website, Facebook, and Instagram. Sign Thank up you. today. This was so fun. Yeah. yeah. Thank Thanks, you. Matt. All right, up next, we are talking about the Emily effect and how it's helping women with postpartum depression and anxiety. Plus, a magician is here to show us a few magic tricks to get you ready for a family friendly magic show that's coming to town. We are back with more GTU after this short break.